All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So this is going to be my buyer beware video of the Volkswagen ID4. This is a 2023 Volkswagen ID4 Pro. And from the get go, um, it was a great car. You know, we were able to get um, with this, uh, buying this car, we got $7,500 tax credit when we leased it. We got three years free of charging at Electrify America, but we only were able to make it to a little over a year of ownership. Um, I think it was like a year and maybe two or three months. Sorry for the camera fogging up. It is hot here in North Florida. Let's turn this volume down real quick. I'm gonna wipe this. Okay, there we go. We got the lens fixed. Okay, so the reason why I'm making this video is a little after a year, like literally right a year and like 20 days of ownership, uh, we were having some problems uh, with air conditioner. Um, so what it was doing was we would put the car in low and we would recirculate the air and we would go um, for a drive and the air conditioner would stop blowing cold air. And it seemed to happen like when we were going down the road, like maybe like highway speeds, anywhere from 60 miles an hour to 75 mile an hour plus, the AC would just completely cut out. And you know, here in the summertime in Florida, it would be, you know, 95, 97, 98 degrees with the heat index of like 102, 105, and the air conditioning would stop. So what had happened was, so we took the car uh, in, I took the car in for the first time, like back in, I don't remember exactly when it was, I took the car in, or like, I was, I, they were like, hey, Miss Torres, what's the issue? And I told them like, hey, something's going on with the air conditioning. At low speeds, the air conditioning wor would work fine. And then when you get going, you know, highway speeds or cruising, you know, 55 to 60, 60 miles an hour plus, the air conditioning would stop completely blowing cold air. So the first trip, course they they ran their diagnostics they checked the uh, air condition and all the lines for the, and all the lines for the vacuum and everything was fine and they 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 called me back I went back to pick up the vehicle and they said nothing was wrong so I was like oh, okay maybe nothing maybe not, maybe it was just a fluke maybe something was wrong with the car just for a second and it fixed itself so the second time we went to the dealership I told Kylie to take the car to the dealership explain to them like hey the air conditioner is not blowing. Um, if it was a cool morning out, the air conditioner would blow fine. But during the day, during like the max temperature um, of here being in North Florida during the summertime, the AC, it just would not blow cold at all. And if it would blow cold, only the driver's side vent here would blow cold. Not even cold enough, but it would blow harder than the passenger side um, vent would. So I told her to take it up to Volkswagen. They ran all their tests again. She wasted probably two, three hours of her time up there for them to just to tell her that, hey, everything checked out with AC, it was fine. And then uh, the, um, the final straw for me was we took a cruise and we went down south towards uh, Cocoa Beach area uh, for a cruise. And sure enough, maybe an hour or two hours into the drive, the air conditioning stopped blowing and it was a 95 degree day with a heat index of maybe like 100 or 101 as we were going further south down Florida to get on our cruise ship. And at that point, that was enough. I had had enough. So we took the car back. After we took our cruise on vacation, we came back, drove the car. Unfortunately, you know, we had a, you know, six, seven hour drive with the car not having AC. It would not blow AC. We took it back there and then not to mention one of the technicians when the time that kylie took it there told her that you could not have max ac on and recirculating air all on at the same time so tell me how much sense does that make to have a brand new at the time 2023 uh, volkswagen id4 pro to use the max ac uh, with the recirculating air he told her you can't do that and at that point i was like okay this is straight BS. So like I said, let's go back towards uh, coming home for the cruise. Air conditioner went out. And the third time that we took it up to the dealership, I said, I'm going to take it up there and I'm going to tell them 
I am not taking this car back until you guys figure out what's going on with the AC. And the two times prior, they could not repl replicate the issue with air conditioner. That's when I told them, when you're sitting and going below 50 miles an hour, the AC works fine. And they couldn't replicate the issue and I was getting fed up. So the third time I said, hey, look, nothing against you all for the dealership, but as Volkswagen, something's wrong with this car and you guys need to fix it and I'm not taking it back. So the third time that I went to Volkswagen, it, ha it was in the shop for 50, it was like 52 days. They had to tear apart the entire dash. There was a EVAP coil or, or is it an EVAP coil? Yeah, it was like an EVAP coil that had like a small leak on it. And I guess it was getting froze or something and the air conditioner wasn't able to work. So that 52 days of me still having to make a car payment insurance and um, not having a car they provided us a rental the first rental we had was a volkswagen uh, atlas and then i had got the car back after the repair was done they had the dash back in they had to decharge the car de-energize de the car re-energize the car got the car back at like day 54 or 56 got back in the car and then lo and behold this blower here it still it still doesn't blow cold air it, it just barely blows air even even like on if we were to turn this up max this is barely blowing air i wish i had a dollar bill but this side blows cold this this side barely blows blows air at all and then with that being said i took the car back and i had got a uh, lemon law lawyer but before that, I had I was working with the Better Business Bureau Auto Line. Complete waste of time. So if you're watching the video and you have a lemon or you're working with Volkswagen with a 94 and you have a lemon, do not waste your time with a the BBB Auto Line. Complete trash. The, the transparency, the communication from start to finish, absolute garbage. Do not recommend going through them. So I partnered up with a firm called the Lemon Law Group and they're down in South Florida within probably 72 hours of them contacting Volkswagen, we had already settled on a resolution. So I, I had already determined like, hey, I, I don't want this car anymore. We were already on our second rental, our second loaner, and we were driving a brand new Volkswagen Taos, Taos, whatever. And because when we had got the car back the previous time, the passenger side blower motor or the blend door actuator went out. So they had to tear all the dash back apart, change that out got back in the car the steering wheel was not was not aligned correctly and i was immediately pissed so i dropped the car back off the next day got a hold of the lemon law uh the lemon law lawyers and within 72 hours we had written 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 documentation from volkswagen with the submittal uh the submit letter of they were going to buy back the car for one this is really cool they bought back the lease of the vehicle and they gave us back 13 payments that we had made plus the money that I had put down on the car. Plus they had not gave on, we traded in a 2023 uh, Bolt EUV, uh, the premier model, and they had shorted us like 900 bucks or so. So they reimbursed us the 900 bucks that they shorted us, 13 payments plus covered my lawyer fees up to $2,500 and gave us uh, and they purchased the car back so we came out on top do not please do not waste your time with the bbb auto line complete trash it, it was a waste after all the time i went through of getting the car's maintenance records the submitting all the payment it, it just wasn't worth it i'd already had all that information submitted it to the to the lawyers and like i said we had an answer back in 72 hours so if you have ever had an issue with your volkswagen and you're on like your third repair or attempt to repair it, get a lemon lawyer. Do not mess with the BBB Auto Line. We enjoyed the car, you know, coming from the Chevy Bolt EUV, the charging at the, uh, having three free years of charging at the Let's Fry America station was great, but the last, you know, um, I would say probably 90 days of this car was spent at a Volkswagen dealership getting fixed. So if you find yourself here and you're on the fence about buying a Volkswagen ID4, I personally do not recommend recommend the car. Um, it started out great, and then it was just one thing after another. And then I'm in the Volkswagen um, ID4 Facebook group, and there's some other cars that are having the similar issues. Uh, 
with air conditioning or other things. And, you know, there's open recalls on the car right now with no status of how to fix it. So I just want you buyers to beware of um, if you're going to make the switch from an ICE vehicle and internal combustion engine to going full electric, maybe steer away from the Volkswagen. We currently now have the Volkswagen or not the Volkswagen, but we currently now have the Tesla Model Y and we absolutely love it. Um, charges so much faster. We've had zero issues with it. It makes a, commu uh, a great commuter plus a long distance uh, travel vehicle. But if you guys are interested in the, the Lemon Law Lawyer group that I use, I'll have a link down in the description. And if you have any other questions about the Volkswagen and the process and everything we went through, leave me a comment down below, shoot me an email, shoot me a DM or a Facebook message, and I'll reply back as best as I can. But please, if you're on the fence about buying a Volkswagen ID4, I'm pretty sure now they have a, they have a stop purchase order on all 23 models. And I don't know where they're at in the line of the 24s, but do yourself a favor and save yourself a headache of buying a Volkswagen ID4. It has been a nightmare well, with Volkswagen for this, but tomorrow, finally, we have the Volkswagen surrender paperwork. I'm gonna surrender the Vol this car, this Volkswagen ID4 at my local dealership, and it'll be out of my driveway. Uh, Volkswagen's bought it back, and I'll have a check back to me uh, for the whole thing. So. I hope you all never have to go through any of this. But like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you're new here, please this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.